So yes, I was able to read the torque sensor of this nice uh, Sunstar SL3 uh, mid motors. And so here is that sensor coming from going nowhere because here my Arduino Nano now senses that this is already the, the new code. And so I was able to read the torque sensor and then emulate it. So here now if I, where is it? Here's the, the on button. Yeah, it's right now it's full speed. And the code is, well, I, I, you need a software ser serial with parity. And the Arduino software serial is not a, uh, pos uh, does not have parity. You need uh, 3,120, 31, bouts. That's a MIDI standard. And uh, you need to uh, invert. So the bit seven must become bit zero and bit zero bit must become bit seven. And then you need, well, that's a, just a 10 bytes. Uh, to sense the idle state that I simply recorded and, I, and then I recorded uh, 10 byte uh, every uh, 100 hertz so 100 times a second uh, these 10 bytes uh, get sent and so here's the, the, the second and the third byte that's uh, the torque so right now the torque is OOD and uh, no, a 11D and so as you can see here, uh, uh, zero E5 that was a uh, idle torque, and when it exceeds uh, one one D, then the motor controller uh, starts running. And yeah, so here you see that you need this uh, begin with parity, and this is the software serial. And uh, yeah, next step would be here to uh, emulate this. Uh, I think it's only two bytes that get sent. So I also want to emulate this display and then everything can, can go into a, an Arduino Nano or a ESP32 because uh, 30, 31, 250,000 uh, baud is already quite to the limit of the 16 megahertz. And the ESP32, it has three hardware serials that can be mapped to any pins. And so there's a nice uh, Ardu uh, ESP32 with a uh, color o OLED display for I think eight, nine euro uh, with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So that would be the, the better choice. Uh, but this is running at five volts, uh, the logic. And so the Arduino Nano was the first choice and it's the cheapest. And yeah, once again, uh, here there are three levels. And these three levels is about the maximum torque. So and I think that's a mid. So I go to a maximum torque and see if you can see a difference. Yeah, you see. So you see, I still have to emulate. Uh, so let's go to the lowest uh, assist mode. That's the lowest one. Don't know. Maybe uh, if I uh, send a uh, higher torque, then even uh, it's in the, uh, and I can override this. But right now, I would also need to send here uh, the assist mode, and and then uh, you see right now it's only full power or not. I, I can simply uh, could change these two bytes to to make a, a constant rise of of the assist. Okay, very nice. Bye-bye.